Hey guys, excuse me for being in my Kiku right now, my Marie Kiku, right? Can you, can you see Marie Kiku? My favorite Marie Kiku. But, um, just making a video right now. Um, first off, me, my family, my house is okay from Hurricane Sandy, or I know now they're trying to call her Super Storm Sandy. Um, luckily we only had like a power outage for maybe a day or so and then everything was back to normal nothing no trees really came down or nothing like that but um we we did pretty good but i'm my heart goes out to pretty much everyone who has lost family or had lost property in the disaster and prayers for all my friends i have a lot of friends who are like out in uh far rockaway and stuff which is one of the major areas that got hit that still doesn't have power and it's been like how many days now it's been maybe about six days that they've had like no power and stuff so you know i'm praying for them and just you know keep the people in your prayers but um i just wanted to point that out quick but the reason for this video today i just want to show you what i did to my minty mix wig now this, like if you saw in my last video, my Minty Mix review, this is the deep pink and black split wig from Minty Mix. This was the wavy version. And now as you can see, it's just like all, that's just basically all it is right now. Like I said in my last video, I was, I was going to destroy this, destroy it, so I could um do this style for Halloween. Um especially since the wig was originally wavy it took me maybe about seven hours or so to do everything that you see right now um because i had to curl the hair myself and synthetic obviously takes a minute to kind of set and even before i was curling it or was it after was it before or after i curled it well the teasing part was just ridiculous it was it, it took a very very long time but I'm so glad it came out the way it did. We had a, a gal meet in New York City, which I went to, um, since I, I barely see my gal friends like that. So um, we had a meet up, and so that morning, it took me seven hours just to do the main wig. And after that, I was just like, I was done. I was tired, I didn't have any sleep, so I didn't even bother with the ponytail wig. But then today, I decided to just go ahead and do the ponytail wig, which is like right here. I don't know if you can see it that well, but um, usually what I do, I, with wigs and stuff, especially with ponytails, I usually like to use the ponytails to extend it a bit, especially with this style since now that I've done teasing and everything, the hair looks kind of shorter than it actually is. So I use the ponytails to kind of get back to that, that breast length hair. And um, basically with my hair, my own hair, I usually braid it up a bit, like the ends, I'll braid up the ends, and then I kind of coil it like right under and then just like tack the uh the ponytail on and it's not noticeable from the back or anything like that yeah so i just want to show you guys how it came out and um the thing about sujimori which i'll say i'll say a couple of things about sujimori first off it's not just teasing at the top it's not just um you know curling a bit or anything like that it's like a serious amount of work and I know some people actually do it and I don't really agree with it because really you're just wasting the wig you're just ruining your wig and you're wasting it is that it's not just you take the very top and then you tease it really badly and then you just try to wing it you know there's a lot of work that goes into it you really have to gain a skill for it because the first couple of times it definitely won't come out and the first couple of times you'll probably be trying to search as far as good hair holding products and things like that and whatnot. But, um, you know, as time goes on, you get the hang of it and then you eventually get it. So if you ever try to do Sujimori with your wig, definitely don't be out to just simply ruin it. Make sure it, whatever your result is, make sure it comes out well. When I started, I didn't really know where I was even going with it. I just knew that I had to have volume and curl the sh crap out of it. I've always um, looked at it in Agaha, Koakuma Agaha, 
and I also have some Sujimori Bibles that has like tutorials on how to do the hair and things like that. And it's not only teasing really, I mean there's just so much you could do with it. I mean they use braiding to style with Sujimori, twist, things like that. Like for example, the beehive up here, this is not just teasing, teasing, teasing and curling, curling, curling. In the back, I actually have it twisted up in the back. Yeah, you definitely can't see in the back that well, but in the back, I have it under under the hair, like under all this. I have it twisted and pinned, and then just the way that they, like, it's just like a t technique for everything, but the way that the hair falls when you twist it up and everything helped make it look like it has more volume. And, um... There's just, yeah, there's just a lot of technique to it, and if you're not familiar with it, you really need to get used to it. But, um, yeah. So, when you do Sujimori, definitely take your time. Definitely look up tutorials. Definitely, um, try to do your best with it so that you don't have a wig or, or time in general go to waste, you know. So, this is pretty much my test run. So, I don't have any video or anything mainly because of the reason that it was a test run but then also because the hair is really dark obviously um, I have the black side which if I think if I was to actually record anything with the black side you wouldn't even know what I'm doing because you don't even see you can barely see what I'm doing as far as with black hair and then this pink color while I really like it I really like how it came out um, I wish I was able to put some dimension into it like getting low lights in it or something or because I know some people who have tried to do more with with synthetic hair or tried doing streaks with synthetic hair you need to have like acrylic paint or something to kind of do like a low light and so I kind of want to do that and I didn't get a chance to do this and I wasn't sure if I could with a certain color paint that this is so um definitely next time I want to try to get a new wig so then I'll be able to do that I know Minty Mix, she has a blonde and a pink and a light pink wig, which I might go for that because then I could actually um, do low lights on both the colors and then be able to show the detail and everything and what I'm doing. So I might end up doing that. Um, so I'm definitely going to try to get a new wig and try to, I don't want to say a tutorial because I'm obviously no expert at doing hair but I want to do a run through just so then you guys get an idea of how this whole process came about <laughs> now that I actually know what I did and what the hell I was doing now so that I think that's pretty much it right was I did I finish speaking I don't I'm so tired and yeah but this is pretty much my hair the sun's like coming out so you can barely see it now Yeah, so this is pretty much my hair. I just wanted to show you guys, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll definitely link some um, some tutorials below, or if I could attach this to the video, I'll attach it to the video. I know, who was it, Pinja made a video, um, and she was like one of the first girls who did, yeah, she did Tsujimori with wigs. Um, one of the first Western gals, anyways, who did Sujimori wigs. And then there's another girl who did, like, Sujimori style, too, which I'll link as well. So they're kind of, if I'm able to put the link, they're somewhere over here. This. Oh, I actually do have pictures, though. I have pictures of some of the steps that I took, and I don't, I don't think it came out that well. So if there's not pictures on my, on my blog, um... You'll probably just have a before and after result and that's it. But um definitely when I get a new split wig or even just a real a new wig in general, um like a normal colored wig or something that I decide that I want to try to suji mori, I'm definitely gonna do a tutorial now that I know what to do. And um hopefully you guys will be looking forward to that. So um that's pretty much it. And I'm just exhausted right now, so I'm about to lay down and go to sleep. But I hope you like the result of my hair. And hopefully I'll be able to show you guys how I did it in a future video.
anyways, I think that's pretty much it. And so I'm going to rest. And I'm going to talk to you guys later. Alright? So...